Hi, I'm Mike Thrussell, Sea Angling Consultant to Pure Fishing. This is an introduction to a new and innovative line from Berkeley, Nanofill. Nanofill is constructed by using literally hundreds of little nanofilaments, hence the name Nanofill. And these are uniquely bonded together to form a single unifilament line. What that creates is a line with very low diameter, very high breaking strain, but with a very coefficient surface, which means that this line casts exceptionally well, particularly with fixed spool reels. Nanofill is available in breaking strains from three pounds to 28 pounds. What's important to note with Nanofill is that the breaking strain is given as a direct linear pull. That means a pull with no knots tied in the Nanofill. This is important because when you tie a knot in any line, it will weaken the overall breaking strain. And this particularly applies to the new innovative lines like Nanofill with a coefficient slick surface. What's also interesting with this line is that it has no memory. And we can demonstrate that by forming a loop in the Nanofill, rolling that loop in our fingers, which is the worst possible thing you can do to any line. But watch this. It has no memory. Also, because it's a single unifilament line, its bite detection is absolutely incredible. So if you're using it for light lures and plugs, it means you're getting maximum movement into those lures, but also people are using it for method feeder fishing. Again, its bite detection is a big asset for method feeder fishing. Nanofilament comes in a single color, which is a clear mist, and it comes in 125 meter and 270 meter spools. This line is innovative and you're going to hear a lot about it over the next three to five years. Because Nanofill has such a coefficient slick surface, we need to consider carefully which knots we're going to use to get maximum strength. If you peel the sticker back on the front of the spool, there are actually a couple of knots illustrated. One is the Albright knot, which is used for connecting Nanofill to a fluorocarbon or monofilament leader. Also, the Palomar knot, which is used for connecting a swivel. However, there is another knot which I find particularly effective with Nanofill. It's the one I use all the time, and it's the Grinner knot. I'm gonna show you two types of Grinner, I'm going to do the double grinner, which I use for connecting Nanofill to a fluorocarbon leader. And I'm going to show you a single grinner, which I use for connecting swivels and connectors. We'll do this as a breakdown sequence to make it simple. To begin, we start with two tag ends, one Nanofill, one fluorocarbon, about eight inches long. We cross the two tag ends and just grip them between your thumb and forefinger. This is very important. Make sure that the tag end goes at the back of the main line you're tying to. So it goes at the back, comes underneath and forwards, and you grip it again to form a loop. And it's very simple. Having formed the loop, you just take the tag end through the loop, taking in both the main line and the loop line, and on the fluorocarbon leader, you go through six turns, which is plenty. Snug the knot up. But don't quite pull it tight. And to form this double grinner knot, you just repeat the same process. Make sure the tag end of Nanofill goes at the back of the fluorocarbon leader, comes underneath and forwards to form the loop, and just grip it again with thumb and forefinger. Then take the loop, then take the tag end through the loop, but I actually go through about 10 turns. On very light Nanofill, I would probably go through 12 times. It just creates 
a stronger knot by having the multiple wraps inside the loop. And once you form the loop, this is really important with the nanofill, just gently tighten it, making sure all the loops close nice and neatly. To complete, just gently, and it is gently, draw the two knots together and they butt up nice and tight. It makes a really strong knot. And also with Nanofill, you can cut the tag ends very close to the knot, as there is or should be, if you've tied the knot correctly, no slippage. And that makes a really neat, snug knot. That's the double grinner knot we use to tie nanofill to a fluorocarbon or monofilament leader. To tie nanofill direct to a swivel or connector, I use the same grinner knot, but with a slight difference. To begin, take the tag end of nanofill and pass it through the eye of the swivel once. and just grip it. Then take the tag end back through the eye of the swivel a second time. So you've now gone through with the nanofill twice inside the eye of the swivel. Pull off a good tag end about eight inches long. And again, make sure that the tag end goes at the back of the main length of nanofill goes out the back, comes underneath and round to form the loop and just grip it between thumb and forefinger. And to complete the knot, you take the tag end through the loop, taking in both the main nanofill line and the loop of nanofill, go through six times and gently draw the knot semi-tight, making sure all the coils snug neatly up. To finish the knot, gently and slowly draw it together, put constant pressure on it and pull it tight. And the last job is to cut the tag end off, again nice and close to the knot, and it forms a really neat, snug, but very strong knot. That's the Grinner knot that we use to tie Nanofill to a swivel or a connector.